Welcome back to Raptors Franchise, where, you know what, let's do an announcement voice, hold on. <laughs> Welcome back to Raptors Franchise, where you won't believe what happened last time. <laughs> do we need an explosion? Put in something of uh, that happened during the game that was epic, and then an explosion. <laughs> Dick, once again, open from three. This time it's a green, and this time it's a splash. Dick is unstoppable. I can't believe what happened. Oh, like my face is shocked. I'm holding both my cheeks in a just old voice while we're looking at something in the thumbnail. That's how the last game went. Jason Tatum annihilated our team, and I lost my entire will for existence to live when we got just got thoroughly demolished. So if there's one thing that I'm learning, it's that we're not good enough to take on the 90 something overall teams. We simply don't have the defensive stopper that we need. RJ Barrett and Scott Barnes, I'd like them to be the stopper eventually. He, they're just not good enough. Jalen Duren isn't a Rudy Gobert. He's not good enough to compensate for our issues. So once this date comes around where I'm able to trade Emmanuel quickly because he just signed a new contract, so he's not available till December 22nd. Then we'll go ahead and make the trade for a defensive stopper. But until then, we're going to have to deal with the fact that we're just a very mediocre team. 10 and 9 kind of explains how good we are. 8th in the power rankings is a bit generous. But all that is to say that we lost and we should be simulating on until I think I'm going to target this LA Clippers game. Because although they have a Kawhi Leonard and a D'Angelo Russell and an Isaiah Ernstein, they really don't have a lot of talent. Like no 80s. They have what, 1, 2, 3 80 overalls. Kawhi Leonard, who consistently doesn't play well in simulation. Yeah, I feel like we could target that. Unless we want to wait all the way until this Lakers date, December 23rd. But that would be after the trade eligibility. So we're just going to simulate a few games and see how they do. Ooh, and it's time to look at the draft classes. Are we ready yet? I wish scouting would be a little bit faster so we could show some highlights. For it. Looks like the number one overall player has some B skills. As we pick up a W, where can I view... Jin Chen. Okay, out of China. He's six foot eight. He is a wing player, pretty good at holding onto the ball while attacking, finds his own shot. What? He's pretty good at holding the ball. Valuable in the NBA. Thumbs up, everybody. Looks to have some ability with regard to getting steals and seems to be positioning him well. So, uh, words. Okay, uh, maybe this guy from China is going to be the future of the team. Uh, I wish we could learn a little bit more about him, but we can. He only has a six foot ten wingspan, but he is looking as as a prospect fairly decent. But here we have Lamelo Ball and Gary Trent Jr. leading the way for scoring. R.J. Barrett, Scott Barnes, Jalen Dern with ten and ten. Cecil Childress not doing great recently. Cam Thomas went off for thirty one. Cam Johnson for twenty five. Mikael Bridges, the future potential trade target, eighteen two four and five steals. But minus three point differential. Yeah, we'll, we'll certainly look at uh, at upgrading on the defensive end. That's that's clearly a liability that our team has to stop some teams. Of course, we can stop the Bulls because oh my god! First of all, they put up eighty three. Vooch put up twenty and eight. Demar put up fifteen. Who are you, Paul Bell? Okay, you put up ten. The rest of the team scored in single digits. Disgusting. We had a Lamelo Ball forty point game. My gosh, 45, 13, and 2. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for Scott Barnes to give me 8, 8, 7, and 1, though. But we demolished the Bulls. Good to see there. We got a whole week of games, 2 and 2, against the Cavs and Heat, respectively. And I don't want to play either of those teams because they're glitchy in this game. Yeah, yikes to that game. We're probably going to lose. Gary Chen Jr. bruised his shoulder day to day. Well, that's not what you want to see. Uh, nobody scored 20 points for us. That's fun. Donna Mitchell dropped 30. Darius Garland put up 17. Evan Mobley was 16 and 14 and 3 and 2 and 2 with 4 turnovers. Really weird stat line from him. 0-4 from the 3-point line. Kelly was good. Jared Allen. I wonder if we could get our hands on a Jared Allen for a Jalen Duran swap. That'd be interesting. Anyway, first night of a back-to-back -back doubleheader. Scott Barnes for Kobe White. Uh, No, but I just realized that I need to uh take Gary Trent out of the lineup. Don't really know what's happening to my team, but everybody's tired, so I'm gonna go on a very deep bench rotation here and give everybody some minutes, and hopefully we'll heal up and rest up before the game that we actually play. We're probably gonna lose four in a row here, just being completely honest. First one, there's our second loss in a row, lose by one. Lamella Ball dropped 22, 8, 9, and 2. Jalen Dern with 20 and 17. Gigi with 18. 
Scott Barnes continuing to suck in simulation even though we tried to fix that. Darius Garland, 29. Kelly Oubre, 24. That was not nice to see. Now we've lost two in a row. We do pick up a one-point victory against the Heat. Jalen Dern was good. LaMelo Ball was good. Uh, Tyler Hero was good for them. Then Jimmy Buckets. Then Scary Terry. Bam. Uh, Yeah. I mean, that's, the, <laughs> that's who the Heat are. And finally, the last game before we hop in. RJ Bear for Kyle Kuzma and Corey Kispert. Man, do they want to give us Corey Kispert. Gary Trent has healed. We lost by 30. I don't even want to look at this score. Nobody scored more than 15 points for us as they dropped 31. Okay. Uh, oh, we're taking on the Clippers, actually. We're not taking on the Suns. You know what? Simulate against the Suns. We pick up a 20-point victory because the Suns are terrible in simulation. Kevin Durant scores 11 points because, for whatever reason, NBA 2K24 no longer likes Kevin Durant. And let's go back to our normal rotations. Let's get some actual minutes for the starters. I know they're going to be tired after this game. I don't care. I will say from our rotations, it kind of looks like Ochai Ogbaji is on the outside looking in. I just can't really fit him in behind Grady Dick and behind Gigi Jackson. He's a tick undersized, a tick under talented, a tick old. He might be the one that's, that's on the outside looking in. Let me make sure that the on the fly lineups are set and let's get going. Is it even worth, even worth doing these? Probably not. Uh, freelance, five out, defense. I mean, the biggest problem was that we were just leaving the other team open, but sure. We'll say there's on and off ball pressure and, and to not allow them to get easy points. Is that going to happen? Probably not. Anyway, here we are losing the tip to the LA Clippers back to basics, back to how it used to be. Now, in theory, Kawhi Leonard is a good player, but 2K does not respect him at all. And Norman Powell is old. Another player 2K does not respect. Another player capable of dropping like 40 points. The pick and roll defense is strong. Three, two, one. Heads up D from Scotty. And that's how you start the game out strong. Kick it to RJ Barrett for three. We missed. You know, I felt like I was doing good. I felt like I prepared everything correctly as I need to when I start playing this game. We forgot to go into practice and do the shot timing practice. Uh, Evita Zubac set the screen the wrong way and it still hit me. And then he gets the rebound anyway. I'm sorry, just does Jalen Duran not not play basketball? What are you doing? So first, we're, we're already back in replay mode, boys. First of all, Zubac sets the screen the wrong way and we still animate onto it. What? And then Jalen Duran, who's just looking at him, doing nothing, can't even box this man out. He's like, oh, that's weird. Okay, let me go over here now. We'll get boxed out, and we give up two points. Nice job, Jalen Duran. This is why you might be traded to at the trade deadline. I'm hugely disappointed by his performance. Okay, let's get some Scott Barnes action going here. Because my favorite play will always be... Uh... Not that. Lamelo, give me some points. Lamelo ball, 90 overall from three, and how's that a miss? How was that a miss, coach? Okay, okay, another three, pulling up, green release, splash! You can't go under the screen, baby! That was actually probably the first time in my entire 2K career where I shot the ball as they went under. And that's all because we have a 90 overall LaMelo ball leading the way. Look at Scott Barnes, defensive stopper. Kawhi Leonard might be just a little too good. Okay, let's lock in. Bones Highland versus Scott Barnes. That's not great. I kind of went for the steal and they didn't give it to me. LaMelo ball playing defense and then just gets the stupidest animation ever. Okay. Scotty Beto. Uh, Gary's open. Gary's open. Gary's open. Two points. I don't know, I tried to steal the ball from Zubats there and it just didn't let me. Look at this defense. Look at this defense. Look at this defense! Scotty Barnes chasing down the dunk and instead it's a layup. Okay, okay, it's fine. We take the lead. Let's go. Who's going to be open? Man, I wish my team wouldn't jog during the fast break. We had like three lanes that should have been open here, but they just jog lightly. So here we are. Lamelo grabs the rebound. So I got Jalen Duran, I got RJ Barrett, I got Scott Barnes, and I got Gary Trent Jr. So we go a little bit further here. You see the defense kind of split out. Norman Powell's going to the corner. Right here, bounce pass for Savica Zubats to make a play. Then you got RJ Barrett and 
Jalen Duran there on the other side. Instead, Scotty just kind of lollygags the entire way. And so only Jalen Duran is the one crashing here, and he basically lets Kawhi Leonard cover him up so we can't make a play. That's just one of the frustrating things with 2K, at least these days. Uh, incredible defense. I don't know what's happening here. Um... I'm gonna go to Gary and just go around Bones Island. If just players would get out of my way, dude. Jesus Christ, they just, they're just running in front of me. Like, what are you doing here? Let me just run around. Let me just run in front of you. Let me just, every, anytime that you get a step on him, let me just make sure that you get a double team because it's stupid. I don't know if there's been like a secret patch update or something, but it feels like the 2K gameplay has gotten significantly worse in like the last week or so it's been putrid wow quick release from grayson allen two people contesting and he splashes anyway they take the lead let's go to let's go to dick let's see if dick can give us anything sometimes dick can give you everything he can't but he might be able to right here he can't just a bad position all around nothing but let's go iq flow game strong Flow game strong. Uh, Patrick Williams in a thong. Oh my gosh. Is that the first contested three that we have made all series? Wow, I didn't even think that was going to go in. Uh, Norman Powell's open. Okay, okay. Dick on defense. Cecil chilled rest. Uh, this is just a weird thing going on here. Sure, yeah. GG, transition. Oh my gosh, quick release again. If I had, if I realized GG Jackson's release was a little funky, we could have got three points out of that, but it is okay. This is going to be a low scoring affair. GG getting screened. Kawhi Leonard jumping, missing. Here we are running. Patrick Williams for three. Bang. P will or he P won't. Patrick Willis be doing the most. And let's play some defense, baby. We got a little bit of a lead. And you see how when we're not going up against Jason Tatum, it feels like we're actually able to do something. I don't know what it was about that Celtics game, but just everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Look at this defense. Look at this defense. Lock him down. IQ's leaking already. Go, IQ. Throw it down, IQ. And they need a time out. How did IQ switch on to Zubats? I'm a little confused on that. Please leave. Please. I was pressing the switch button. There's just, they didn't switch. There's, I've, I've, I've said this before. If the players don't act corresponding to the buttons that I press, we're just not going to be able to win a lot of basketball games. It's as simple as that. Look game strong. Oh, we got this. I, why didn't you dunk that? Hello? What was, I let him take like an extra step or two because I thought we were going to throw that down. That was weird. Whatever. Josh Primo's in the game. And, oh, GG. Back door. G, G, Jackson. And we are playing good basketball right now. A few things that went wrong. We've already hopped into replay boat a few times. Heck of a screen there. But look at IQ on the defense. Stepping back. Wow. Tough shot from Primo. Brady Dick for three of his own. Green release. Splash. As we are putting up points right now. We've already hit 20 points with a minute to go. Grady Dick gives up the back door to Grayson L. Who's weirdly in the starting lineup. Okay, that's just dumb. That's 2K being able to animate through you, dumb. Um, let's see if I can get a quick three out of this from GG Jackson. Kind of took forever to catch and release that, but... You know, that was a decent look, respectively. Final shots of the quarter. Dick has the ball. Dick steals it from Coffee. Dick, throw it down. To oh my god. I was holding the dunk button. What? Wow. IQ took his sweet ass time to get over there. And I just want you to see what happened. I was, you saw there was a little icon that went under your player, like a little basketball icon. That's the sign for 
oh, you're trying to pass to someone really far away, so you're holding the pass button. So what I was doing was pass to Emmanuel quickly. I made sure that he leaked a little bit. That's my favorite thing to do in a miss, so that we would get basically a moderately open shot. What happens is you hold the button, which takes an extra second and a half, I'll say, of your actual in-game time, which is forever when you're playing a basketball game. And instead, they throw it to the guy closest to you. That's, that's what I'm talking about when the buttons that you are pressing are not corresponding to the actions your players are making. Jeez, all good. We're winning. Well, let's settle in. Let's have some fun. Let's tell some jokes. Let's make some laughs. Let's live, laugh, love, you know? Eat, pray, love. That's, that's my motto. <laughs> I don't know, man. Pump, pump, shot, mitt. I'm surprised that wouldn't. <laughs> Let's go! They're running out of bounds. Amir Coffee looks drunk. Three point contest. Donna Mitchell, Tyler Hero, Tyrese Maxey, Damian Lillard, Treyth Young, and Lucas Kennard. Luke Kennard might be a good player to pick up. Why is this taking so long? Okay, let's get a Lonzo Ball off ball screen. I'm down for that. Lonzo Ball, baby. Sharp shooting running and oh wow it's that meter man it goes up and down so weird sometimes okay let's settle up oh my gosh oh my gosh let's go <laughs> incredible defense uh who's gonna who's gonna dive hard for me here it just really felt like we had so many opportunities and none of them are going through and now gary Trent jr is the pick and roll ball handler that's a problem. That's not a problem. Gary Trent Jr. throws it down with authority. We're up by seven. We're, we're knocking on the door of a double digit lead here, which is beautiful. Josh Primo's bad at basketball, and then so is Jalen Duran. <laughs> I might be crazy. I may have taken my crazy pills again. Sometimes I do that too early. Jalen, you just... You just, you just, that's so sad. Have you ever seen Rudy Gobert try to shoot free throws? That's the same feeling that I have watching you trying to defend the pick and roll. Uh, locked out. How'd they turn me around? <laughs> How did they just say, you're looking the wrong way, sir? Excuse me. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Gary, once again, the pick and roll ball handler. Gary... Uh, huh. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh. Okay. Whew. I thought we had to... We had a little bit of the Jalen Duran free throw hour. It's been a minute since we had to do it, but let's see LaMelo Ball inbound. Splash. Bad release, but he's too good. LaMelo Ball is the king's... As, as a king should. Maybe that. Maybe that's what we're doing. I don't know. I got nothing. Look at... Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say look at the defense and then rj barrett just forgets what momentum is he he goes whoa 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 whoa, whoa. where am i going <laughs> what are you doing dude ah. you know there was a point where where i thought i might stay mad at this game and we're just having fun now that's all it is you you forgot to run the play sir everybody just forgot to run the play I did. I forgot to run the play. What is happening? Jalen Duran comes at me screen. RJ Barrett. Jalen Duran. Wow. Blocked pathetically. Incredible defense from Isaiah Harnstein, I might say. Bones Highland. It's a layup. That's fine. That's cool. Pop your shoulders. Be like, yeah, this is... It's this, this all good, man. Mellow Ball. I'm taking this. No hesitation, LaMelo ball for three, splash, they need a time out. So what I'm seeing here, significant weaknesses are Jalen Duran, just being undersized and a defensive liability. I'm seeing people want to trade Gary, so like, I guess he's, he's decent enough at everything. He's just not quite good enough. Wow. Good defense there though, by the way. And then I'm seeing, uh, oh, Jalen Duran just stopped at the elbow. What do you, he just stopped. He just stopped. Why did he just stop?
Like, I didn't have any numbers. It felt like the fast break could have been run better. And then he just stops. Why did you stop? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I need dick ball handling. I need dick with the ball in his hands. And let's see. Cecil Childress. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, You know what? Let's just go to the free throw line. And uh, if you remember, Cecil Childress can't shoot free throws. So this is going to be fun. Okay. Oh, jeez. All right, I got this one. I got it. Ugh, come on. They didn't even shake the screen for me that time. Come on. All right, we're good. Vita Zubats can't do anything. We're good. Everything's good. We're good. Look at me running the screens beautifully and look at Cecil Childers get yammed on. It's bad when the ball bounces off the player's head because he dunked it so hard. That's what we're experiencing there. IQ, are we faster than Bones Highland? It felt like we were. I guess not. It felt like we were. Patrick Williams, are you open? Oh, I should have just should have done something with that. But I gotta go to my man Dick. And I gotta miss. We gotta miss. Everybody gotta miss. Okay. They like just all of that was bad. They sucked me over the screen when I went under. We still can't guard the pick and roll. I think I need to change the defensive settings, but uh, it just it bugs me. And um, yeah, uh, let's go to Patrick Williams this time, and let's take this wide open long two. How does that get so heavily contested by Grayson Allen, who's half a foot shorter than you? Where are you going, Grady? Oh my god. I just... <laughs> to be honest with you, it's the Chris Boucher at the center position show. I've had enough. Uh, Cecil Childress, I appreciate what he's doing for our team as a rookie, but he just gets embarrassed so frequently. If you remember, Chris Boucher locked down. Was it Giannis? So we'll see if he's able to accomplish anything. Patrick Williams gonna get open. He's not. Grady Dick gonna get open. Grady Dick for three. Dick splashes. One minute left. We reclaim the lead. Now let's play some good basketball here. Avica Zubots with Chris Boucher on him. All right. Nothing happening. Uh, I'm gonna play off ball here. Just kind of see how the CPU handles it. And they don't. Okay. Dick is open. A dick is missing. That release felt pretty good. I think we were just like a tenth of a second off. I take that shot ten times out of ten. Wow, Bones Island just gets left wide open. Good stuff. IQ. IQ flow game strong. GG Jackson wearing a thong. GG Jackson throws it down. The only player on our team who reliably runs in transition. And I will take that any plays defense to GG Jackson. All right. We just need to settle down. Settle in. Patrick Williams for three. Weird fast release. It goes in anyway. Beautiful basketball here from the Toronto Raptors. I don't know why that release was so unbelievably fast, but you know what? It goes in and we have a five point lead. If we can lock them up defensively, uh, if we can get points back defensively, let's call a quick play for Dick. See if we can give Dick anything. I know I should have called it for Gigi because he's the, the right at the end of the buzzer shooting king. And uh, you know what? You would be right. <laughs> but we have a three-point lead here at halftime. And take a look at the halftime stats. Ivica Zubac is leading the way from their team. Ten points, seven rebounds, an assist, and a block. Yeah, not good. Kawhi, again, just notoriously quiet. And the rest of their team is bad. That's why I accepted this matchup. Patrick Williams has been money for the three-point line. The mellow ball has been good. Grady Dick has been okay. GG been okay. Gary's been okay. Scott Barnes continues to be quiet. RJ Barrett's put up a whole zero burger. Um, I guess we'll just kind of see what we're able to operate with here. I'm I'm pretty content with the team so far. 
simultaneously. I need some magic to happen, like Dick to hit from three. And he does. Grady Dick splashing out the gate. Grady Dick can't miss. And when the Dick can't miss, you know we're too good. Uh, oh my God. Grady Dick back to back. Grady Dick back to back. Dick goes two for two. And right out the gate, we are hitting from three. The Dick is hitting. Oh, wow. How did he miss? He's not going to miss again. Oh, let's go. Give the ball to Emmanuel quickly. Emmanuel quickly shoots it from behind the basket. I just, <laughs> I just want you to see what happened here. I know that he fumbled the ball. He makes like a miraculous jump recovery. Good stuff there. Gets the ball. Takes a jump shot. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to say this probably isn't a good jump shot. I got to disagree. When you're hitting the ball off the bottom of the stanchion to be out of bounds, that's a 5,000 IQ play, all right? RNG manipulation. Oh, beautiful defense. Beautiful defense from Gary. Beautiful defense from Gary. Beautiful defense from Gary. Pump and go up and in. If you don't like that, you don't like Toronto Raptors basketball. So I'm going to give you the guide to play an on-ball defense here in 2K24. The CPU likes to do that. <laughs> oh, we got the ball. Here we go. RJ, I need you to go faster, son. RJ Barrett puts it up and in, and we have a double-digit lead. What I was going to say is there's like a rhythm to this. So the CPU will initially try to get by you and get some easy points. Oh, come on. Zubats is a machine. Uh, if the first attempt doesn't go through, then they run their play. And then if that attempt doesn't go through, then they actually run like some complicated offense. I'm sorry, does, does 2K know what a pick and roll is? Am I blind? Am I, am, tell me if I'm the crazy one. Where are you going, dude? That's just not a roll. Like, I can't believe you made that, but like what play, I, I was calling for a roll, right? Am I crazy? This isn't a roll. This is a jog around the perimeter and do nothing. Are you, did, is the five out spacing changing how we run the pick and roll? Okay, let's change this. I think there was a second one down here. Freelance competitive. Sure, let's try that. Maybe that'll explain why we can't run basic screen and roll action for an NBA team. Okay. Oh, come on, Lamelo. Still missing. Here we go. RJ Barrett, back door. RJ Barrett, back door. RJ Barrett throws it down, puts us back up to an 11 point lead. Oh, hell of a screen from Big Zoo. Yeah, that's just when you erase somebody out of the play, that'll happen. Lamello Ball screaming, open rhythm jumper, Lamello Ball splashing. And we're back up to 12. Offense is clicking, defense is clicking. Big Zoo is unstoppable though. It's like, in what world should this be done in the defensive post movement? Like, I was just trying to stay in front of him. That's all. I end up over here. Then I end up over here. Then I end up over here. I just wanted to stay in front of him, 2K. I didn't want to do anything else fancy. I didn't want to shade in the post. I just wanted to stay in front of him. Lamello ball is open. Back to back splashing. And the offense cannot be stopped. Lamella ball three times in a row? Nah. He can't go three for three from three. That's called a heat check. Are we there though? Are we there though? Are we there though? I mean, I can play defense with the best of them. I'm the GOAT. Oh, Jalen Duran, really? 
Big Zoo can't shoot. Run the break. Grady Dick. Transition. Three. Splash. And we're like the Pacers. We're too fast. Too furious. Oh, Grady's kind of a bad defender. I'm going to have to point that out. I know that uh, we love Dick on our team, but... Oof. Patrick Williams! Splash! And the high scoring affair continues. 65 to 55. Their whole team is gassed, by the way. If I can just add that. And Norman Powell is running off screens. I kind of got scared, so I figured we'd help him instead. But I see... I see the rookie not running plays correctly. That's fine. Dick for three? Dick baby? Dick missed? Well, you can't make 100% of the shots 100% of the time, and that's the fundamentals of basketball. What you can do is get shook by Bones Highland and then watch him get his shit blocked pathetically. And we got numbers. We got the big fella. Throw it down, big fella. Don't lay it up softly and pathetically. We got to get this man off the court. You know, I was going to try to put in Thanasty. He's not even in the game. He's in the, the far bench. We need to switch out John Conkar and Thanasis is his role. Because Chris Boucher isn't cutting it. Jalen Duran isn't cutting it. Cecil Childress, the rookie, isn't cutting it. Anyway, give me the ball. Oh. Oh. What is a mere coffee going to do with Patrick Williams? Patrick Williams was supposed to be the next Kawhi Leonard, and nobody can stop the lethal screed and roll the most fundamental play in the history, baby. Nobody can play better than CP3. Patrick Williams for three. Quick trigger. Missed. Again, just sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. I don't know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Josh Primo just went right around Dick. Oof. Sometimes Josh Primo is a blur against Dick. Slow developing play for GG Jackson, baby. And how was that not a splash? That was a perfect release. Well, the two for one was complete, but Kawhi Leonard got hurt? Excuse me? Why did we not get that rebound? When did when did Kawhi get hurt? I mean, he's already old and slow. We can't stop the screen and roll with Trey Mann? Really? Alright then. Uh, Let's go, baby. Oh, I was dunking it. I was dunking it. I wasn't sprinting into Isaiah Hartenstein. I was trying to dunk it. Three. Two. One. Oh my god, that was the worst. How is it a one point game? How do we go from up 12 to up by one to close out the third quarter in like half a second? What happened? It... <sighs> Alright, well we surprisingly have a competitive one here. I don't know what the hell happened in the last 30 seconds where we gave up 12 points. But, you know, I'm just a boy. I'm a real boy. Oh, and Gigi Jackson, throw it down, Gigi. Oh, I know we could have kicked it to the corner. I wanted you to throw it down with authority. I forgot Gigi can't shoot free throws. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, we got this. You? Yeah, there you go. Horrible release, it's a 58% shot. Good release, it's a 68% shot. That's kind of... Gigi Jackson has to work on those free throws. Patrick Williams playing the D. Oh, look at P-Will. Hands up. Hands up. Josh Primo sucks. Let's go. And I see GG sprinting. I see... You know what? Let's get the ball to Chris Boucher. He's got a mere coffee on him. Clear out. And let's just do a little whoop. 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 Wow, he didn't bite at all. That was incredible. You think Chris Chris Boucher could bully Amir Coffee in the post? I guess not. <laughs> and 
incredible defense from IQ. Oh, come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Brady Dick for three. Bad release. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're struggling right now. Um, It's kind of the releases. It's kind of our pathetic defense. And I just, I can't. I can't. I can't play basketball like this, man. We're just going to put the starters in early. I don't care if their stamina isn't, you know, perfect. They're not getting enough rest. We need to start winning basketball games. First things first, Isaiah Hartenstein. Second thing second, Jalen Durring. I can't believe that's the shot that you put up, Jalen. I just, like, it's remarkable. And then nobody stops the ball. Why would Jalen Duran be tasked with guarding the point guard? There we go. There we go. There we go. Pick and roll offense with Scotty Barnes. The connection from LaMelo can do no harm. That doesn't work either. I don't know. We'll work on it. We're only on like episode 12. Why did I just move out of the way? <laughs> Why is this how shading works? I'm right here in front of him, and then he just moves. <laughs> what is this game? I can't believe he missed that. Cross. And Scotty Beto. Scotty Beto. Scotty Beto. I can't get to the ball. Gary plays incredible defense. They come out with points anyway, and we're struggling right now. Lamelo Ball answers with a three of his own. Splash! Lamelo Ball, what rhymes with cash? All right, let's lock up on the defensive end. Kawhi is hurt. I know, surprise. They have no good players. Fuck me, dude. ISO, host, and we just got to go through Josh Primo here. Thank you. I'm there. Oh, incredible defense. Let's go. I'm playing off ball. <laughs> why? Oh, why? All right, RJ, you got a hit from three. Really? Did we just forget how to play offense? Like, what is this game? Let's go. Gary's running the break. Somebody run with him. Somebody run with him. Nobody ran with him. Uh, Nobody's going to send me a screen. That's fine. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, one for two, it does not matter who, down by two, we're collapsing, but you know what, it's a close competitive game, if, if there's one thing that I'm good at, it's close competitive games in 2k, my defense, unstoppable, my gameplay, remarkable, is this like a penalty at something, three, two, one, oh my gosh, Oh my gosh, I can't believe we got that rebound. Oh my gosh, I see RJ Barrett. I see Scotty Barnes in the corner. That release was funky, but splash! We take the lead, Scotty B. All right, lock him down. What is happening? I'm getting screened. I'm not meaning to jump like that. It's okay. Double team inbound, Trey Mann. Oh, what a screen from Big Zoo, and what an incredible roll and one. <laughs> Jalen Duren is so bad. I'm telling you, we're trading Jalen Duren for Rudy Gobert. We really are. Big Zoo can't shoot. Oh, don't lie. Let's go. Jalen Duren, no. Jalen, you have to dunk that. You have to dunk that. Oh, that's a bad release again. I swear to God, Jalen Duran has to get better at the sport of basketball. There's just no other way that we're able to play with him as a starter. I'm playing off ball. Too much drama. 
You, you're so bad, dude. Like, did you go to the school of suck? What is wrong with you? And then my, my screener rolls aren't working because they're like, they're calling plays on their own or something? What is happening? All right, there's a chance. We just need to settle in and let Gary Trent Jr. hit this three. Fuck, why? Why, 2K? Why are you doing this to me? We had a 10 plus point lead. I'm so there. I'm so there! The mellow ball is not open. We get a foul on a three point play. Incredible bailout foul call from the CPU. Now, can I hit Lamella ball free throws, which are a little funky? Yes. That is beautiful. Three for three from the free throw line. And now we just have to play defense. And I'm not even going to touch the ball. I'm not even going to get close to the basketball. I'm going to stay right over here. My, my own damn business. And look at that block. Beautiful defense from our team. Scotty. To the corner for RJ Barrett splash we take the lead and we finally hit some shots beautiful basketball All right one point game we're playing good here Zubats is like a machine out there he's a freaking terminator he can't be stopped why Leonard Scotty B that's good that's good. That's good. Gary's running. Scotty B's running. And we throw it down. We take a three-point lead. 25 seconds left. I don't know if you saw, but we took an 8-0 run in the final 46 seconds to close this out. We came in hugely clutch. Look at the lockdown D from Scotty B here. Look at the lockdown D. And Bones Highland is running out of bounds. Bones Highland is running out of bounds. Seven, six, five, four, three. Contested three from Grayson Allen. And that's game. The Toronto Raptors clutched it out. Lamelo Ball goes two for two from the free throw man. Free throw line. Ice in his veins. Wow, what a freaking game. We had it wire to wire and then collapsed at the end of the third. Went into the fourth, could not stop Ivica freaking Zubats. And then with one minute remaining, we go on an 8-0 run to clutch this one out. Holy crap. This was like an epic game of epic proportions against the LA Clippers as Lamella Ball rightly earns player of the game. What a game. Ivica dropped 30 points on our team. 12 rebounds, assists, 3 steals, and a block. I don't know how this freaking 82 overall nobody outplayed Jalen Duran, but that's certainly a sign because Isaiah Hardenstein dropped 17 of his own. We need to get significantly better at the center position right now. And LaMelo Ball had himself a game. 32 points, 5 rebounds, only 4 assists because everybody was missing. 8 of 15 from the three-point line. Every one of his shots was a three out of the field. And then 8 of 9 from the free-throw line, including clutch free throws to close the game out. Brady Dick was good. Dick went 7 of 13 from three. 1 of 3 from the free-throw line. That's a little weird. Patrick Williams was good. Scotty Barnes was okay. I don't know why they wouldn't like roll when I called for a screen of roll. I need to figure out what, what's wrong in the system with that. RJ Barrett was really bad. 4 of 11, 1 of 8. Gary Trent was okay, 4 of 8, but 0 of 3 from 3. Gigi went surprisingly 0 of 5 from 3. Jalen Duren was horrifically bad. Emmanuel Quickly was fine as backup point guard. Cecil Childress was horrific. Chris Boucher was horrific. So we have significant weaknesses at our center position that need to be addressed. But we walked away with a victory and a clutch close one at that against the LA Clippers. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.